Hi guys, I've got a request from Epic Face 3000 to make a rubber band powered car. Haven't made one of them for a couple of days, I suppose. He wants me to make it out of an aluminium soda can or tin can. Well, I haven't got any of them. I do just happen to have a beer can here. So, I'll use that. Because I'll be cutting it, there will be sharp edges. So, I'll just mention that at the beginning. If you do one of these yourself, do be aware that you're going to have some sharp pieces of metal. and You may easily cut your fingers on them. For the wheels, I'll use my usual CDs with bottle tops hot glued to the centre for the hubs and I'll use barbecue skewers for the axles. If you need any help on how to make these have a look at the video description because there's a link to a video where I just make these. So that's a nice simple way of making your wheels. For the body these aluminium cans are actually not very strong. If you start pushing a hole through them, if your rubber band is too strong, it'll actually start to tear the aluminium. It'd probably be okay, it just depends how strong your rubber band is. It's going to be quite a lightweight car, you really don't want a strong rubber band because it'll just spin the wheels. But what I'm thinking of doing is cutting that aluminium section there, bending the aluminium back so that we've got a big hole so that we can actually get to the rubber band which will go through the middle. But where I've bent the metal back I'll push the holes through that bit of metal, it'll be like a flap sticking up, and use that as the axle holes and that gives us the extra strength of the end of the tin. And I'll do something similar at the front. I'll cut it, bend the flaps back so the axles will actually be pushing against the top of the can and pushing against the bottom. Just drawing a line straight up the side of the can across the top and straight down the other side. That should help us keep the axles um, level so the car sits straight. So we need something like that and then when that's bent back the hole will be about there somewhere. Now I've got to cut that. I'll use a sharp knife and I've got some tin snips as they're called to cut it. Just be very careful if you're doing this because this thin metal can be very sharp. I say that's going to be very sharp on the edges there. That's the general idea. I'll bend these other bits out of the way. But 
remember they're still going to be there, they're still going to be sharp. I might try and trim off those corners as well. in there. I'll open that out a bit more in a minute. open those out and then that can go straight across the back and apparently we're just going out for dinner so I'll finish this later yeah, I've opened the holes out big enough for the axle to be a nice free run inside something similar at the front. Back again. Right, what can we do at this end? thinking that might be handy to hook the rubber band round. some sharp edges on there.
Right, so that bit's to hook the rubber band onto. It'll probably get cut on the sharp edges, but it should last long enough for what we're doing. Need to poke some holes through here for the axle. Okay, looks like we're nearly ready. It'd be handy if we have something on there to hook the rubber band onto so it's easy to wind it on. I'll see if I've got a little plastic strap. one of those little plastic straps. just to give you something to hook the rubber band onto to hold it in place while you start winding it. Make sure there's a little bit of a gap there. Okay. I'll find a rubber band, push it through the middle, down in the kitchen. I've got a bit of metal here, a bit of wire, so I can 
get hold of the rubber band, we've looped it over that little flap of aluminium that I left at the top there. I need to reach inside to get hold of it. Is the camera going to see this? And I can just hook it straight over that cable tie that I put there. Now I can wind the wheels backwards to wind up the rubber band. You don't want it to start rubbing up against the sides or that will cause it to jam. That's probably enough. Are you ready? Well, that looks like that would have gone the full distance if we'd have gone straight. Kitchen is five meters, so six, seven, about eight meters we ran then. I would call that a success. Job done.